Hello everyone. Today I'd like to demonstrate a unique usage of Intel SGX for blockchain that we call private data objects. Here at Intel, we found that many blockchain use cases have struggled to enter production due to business concerns about the confidentiality of transactions. In addition, traditional blockchain architectures have failed to meet regulatory requirements such as data locality laws due to the broadcast nature of their architectures. Private Data Objects is an open source research initiative developed by Intel Labs that aims to address these confidentiality and data locality concerns. Private Data Objects, or PDO, leverages the Intel SGX technology to enable privacy-preserving off-chain smart contracts. The execution of smart contracts within enclaves ensures the smart contract is executed with integrity and it prevents the inspection of transaction data from those that are executing the contract. Today I'm going to show you a brief demo that highlights how this technology can be used. The use case we'll be showing is one that's often discussed in the financial services industry. Using a blockchain to record the transfer and exchange of digital assets such as stocks and bonds. In our demo today, we'll be showing how money can be exchanged for stock while ensuring that the transaction and the resulting balances are only available to those that are a party to the transaction. We will begin by launching the Private Data Objects services. By launching this service, we will create an SGX enclave where contract code can be executed securely and privately. Next, we will load several smart contracts into the enclave that will form the basis of the demo. These example contracts enable the issuance of assets, in this case, digital cash and shares of Widget Co. stock, and also the exchange of these assets. Now that we have the enclaves launched and provisioned, we will issue some cash and stock to Alice and Bob. Once the shares have been issued, we will jump to a split screen showing Alice and Bob's respective views of the ledger. As you will see, when we query the enclave for the state of the ledger, the two users are only shown their respective balances. Alice with 25 shares of stock, and Bob with 100 units of cash. This is because the Enclave will only provide balances to their respective owners. Next, we will load the exchange contract that will enable these two parties to privately exchange their assets without exposing their transaction to the rest of the system. Now that the exchange contract is loaded, Alice places an order requesting 100 units of cash for her 25 shares. At the same time, she also escrows her 25 units of stock, ensuring that the order can be matched and filled. Once this is done, Bob can now inspect the exchange contract to see the available orders. By accepting the order and escrowing his shares into the exchange contract, the exchange is completed. With the order matched and filled, Bob and Alice can now claim their new assets. Alice with her cash, and Bob with his shares. We will once again check the balances to ensure that the exchange and withdrawal was successful. As you can see, Alice is now in possession of the cash, and Bob the shares. This transaction will remain private to all other participants in the system, even to the operator of the computer running the exchange contract. If you'd like to learn more or experiment with this technology, Private Data Objects is now available open source and can be found online at github.com slash hyperledger dash labs. Thanks for learning about this exciting technology with me.